All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later for our first deck on this Friday afternoon, which is going to be Four Color Discard. Um, this is a deck we've played a couple of times that it has a very, very greedy mana base and color requirements and everything, but it's a whole lot of fun to play. So, you know, why not? You only live once, might as well try to play everything. So we're, we're basically Grixis Control... Um, that is splashing white for a few uh, pretty necessary upgrades to a Grixis deck. We have, first and foremost, uh, Grixis doesn't really have a good sweeper. So we have Kaya's Wrath. So that's a double white spell. Splashing double white, kind of tough. But, you know, we're doing it because um, we need a really good Wrath effect for our control deck. All right, so we got that. Next, uh, Grixis doesn't really deal with enchantments at all. So... We got Mortifies, so since we're splashing white anyway, we get to play Mortify, premium removal spell that destroys enchantments. Perfect. And then follow, then the last thing is Grixis doesn't really have a great uh, end game, you know, like a Planeswalker that really wins the game on its own kind of thing, and obviously Teferi does that. So we have these three upgrades to Grixis, um, but they come at the cost of having a, you know, a, a mana base that... Um, you know, only a parent can love, basically. Uh, in the sideboard, white also gives us some ways to deal with aggro, um, especially mono red, which is sometimes tough for Grixis. So we have Basilica Bell Haunts, which are really, really great against mono red, and I also got a Lyra. This could just kind of chilling over here, plus a couple Deafening Clarions if we need a cheaper sweeper against other decks. Um, so there we go, four color discard. Time to play some matches. Uh, thanks, Strollrack. Yeah, it should be a fun day today. We're playing some decks that we've done pretty well with in the past. The Four Color Discard, the Gruel Frenzy, the Naya Legends. Naya Legends in particular is one of my favorite decks to play. Overall. God. Hawkeye's holding down the, the fort back there. Hmm. So we're on the draw. Our opponent is on a mulligan to six. And I think we're we are joining our opponent. Let's go to six also. Alright, I like this six more. No black mana though. And we have a lot of black sources in the deck. Hey, what's up, Boot? It is Friday. Friday. Oh yeah, very greedy. Absolutely. That's the... That's the name of our deck. Four color greed. Hmm. We're playing a Grixis Control Mirror. So I'm leading with the search for Escanta here, so that I want to play I want to play disinformation campaign next turn, um, and then be able to pick up the campaign with Thought Erasure. That's what I wanted to be doing. Yeah, for um, for the the traditional play, there is a uh, a little button that you need to, a little switch you need to toggle up in the top right hand corner. Um, it's it's around this area of the screen. Um, it's on the the main screen. It doesn't look like a button, but it is. So the opponent there um, was just playing their search for Escanta just to get it in the graveyard to be able to um, to be able to have an extra card towards flipping their Escanta. Um, Turns out it didn't matter because I had disinfor disinformation campaign anyway that would have made them discard it. Um, but I was glad that they did that because we're playing... Um, yeah, it's fine. Because we're playing... Um, uh, 
uh, sorry, Mortify. So since we're playing Mortify, we have like the ability to destroy this one Ascanta, and they wouldn't have a backup now. I'm going to go ahead and decline on flipping the surge. We don't need the extra mana right now. Never seen water burn? You will. So, might as well um, allow the Ascanta to do its thing for another turn here. <laughs> no fuck here be monsters. All right, so unfortunately, um, unfortunately, no Angrath at five loyalty. No steel. I could like play the Nickel Bolas and then minus three the Angrath and give the Nickel Bolas haste and and attack their Angrath, but. That's only attacking the Angrath for four, with the Angrath being at five loyalty doesn't do us a whole lot of good. Stief goes to World War II with the sub. Thank you so much for, for the uh, sub there. I really do appreciate that. Alright, so they are stealing the, the Nickel Bowls to my freedom? <laughs> against us, though. A fair price. Sub number two on the day. <laughs> that tickled. So flipping nickel bowls just gives it back to us. So that's not really a great idea for the opponent. I am limitless. Lurking for too long time to put the money down. Oh, well, thanks so much, Steve. I really do appreciate that. <laughs> I'm shame concede on the spot there. Well, looks like the opponent agrees with you. Because, <laughs> yeah, they are they are pretty dead anyway. All right, so we're bringing in our thieves. Our opponent should be bringing in their thieves as well. So we want to make sure we have uh, answers to thieves. Um, even though I'm going to be taking out... Kaya's Wrath, Moment of Craving. I know that's those are cards that kill Thief. We still have two Cast Down, three Mortify. In fact, honestly, Moment of Craving is probably just better than Cast Down. Um, I guess they could have Doom Whisperer. So I'll keep the Cast Down. Um, I kind of like all of these cards. Oh, I'm sorry. You lost your first two matches and dropped out? Aw. Sorry to hear that. I honestly don't know what to do for, like, the last cuts here. I really like all of these cards. I don't know. Maybe Disdainful Stroke. That's gonna counter like what Nick Nickel Bolas and actually we don't we don't need a Stainful Stroke. I think a lot of the more important cards are gonna be cheaper. And then I could trim one of my Nickel Boluses or one of these Planeswalkers. Could trim a Mortify, I suppose. I'll trim and mortify. I like cast down because I, I want to have like answers to thief right away, but I don't know. Maybe we don't need that, and especially on when I'm on the play. Um, I feel like cast down's better on the draw because you know you're a little more behind on the draw. But they're certainly going to have four Thief of Sanities, and I want to have like the, the answers to them, which is why I have the two cast downs in the deck. Um, they are not so certainly... Cer 
yeah, it's not a certain. But they may have Doom Whispers as well that Cast Down could hit. Unmoored Ego. Nicobolas Contempt Contempt. I'll take the Bolas. Keep the land. Disinformation campaign. Sure. Let's see if they draw the land in one of these two draws. No land. Ooh, no land, November. Question is, do the benefits of running four color outweigh the more difficult land base uh, with the uh, more difficult land base outweigh the benefits of just playing Grixis with the easier mana base? And the answer is, I don't know. Um, when it works, you know, you, you get some really good cards. Um... Go ahead and discover it. I want to hit a land drop. Those are land drops. I'll take the Blood Crypt first. So that I can still cast Thought Erasure. Um... But yeah. So... Basically, all the things that white adds to the deck really do plug in holes that Grixis has. Um, you know, Never between like a good sweeper with boom. Kaya's Wrath, enchantment you removal will. with Mortify, the card advantage with the fairy. Um, they're all good aspects to the deck. It's just you have games that you have spe a lot of spells that you can't cast. Um, I did get a lot of sleep last night. I uh, did sleep pretty good. Um, I was up early this morning uh, because of that too, but I'm I'm still kind of tired. Still just feeling feeling kind of tired after the longer day yesterday. Uh, you know, just kind of losing all my energy from three days in a row with the no electricity, and then the long day yesterday. It was a little rough. Yeah, we're so basically we're. So that's the thing is, since I'm going four color, I'm I'm basically splashing white and red, here. Um, yeah, you know, the deck has kind of like a Grixis feel, um, but, uh, but yeah, you you could call it Esper splash red because I I'm only playing Angrath and Nickel Bola, so so that's the thing. Like, I would like to be playing Lava Coil as my two mana removal spell, but not doing that. Um, not playing Lava Coil, playing Cast Down instead, because basically we're like a blue-black deck uh, that's just kind of splashing some white and some red. Oh, it is Esper Thran. I, I switched it over to Esper Thran later, but I forgot to change the title of the stream. That's a, that's a very fair point. All right, I updated that. Hey, King KFC. <laughs> I am basically at the end of the closet these days. Um, I am... I'm in the need of doing some laundry here pretty soon. Hunts had a really good hand and they were on the play. Um, don't think we're winning this. Black Geppetto getting a resub in there for the fourth month. 
Glad to be enjoying another chill stream. I'm glad you're here, Black Geppetto. Thank you so much. So, the number three on the day. Dang, that hammer's pretty good. Well, not dead yet. Not dead until the next turn. Ooh, still not dead. You're just no fire, no steel. Another land? We're gonna need a lot of lands in a row. Okay, we can beat that card. That's a card we can beat. No fire, no steel. Um, do I want Dragon Skull Summit? Yeah, I'll take Dragon Skull Summit. That's it. Leaves me at seven. Okay, another land. Draw a land. Okay. We're still in there. No fire. Right, well, we didn't get the no land steel. there. So let's... We, I think we have to keep up Brass's Contempt to be the safest. We can be. So let's just play disinformation campaign. Um, hold up Brass's Contempt. <laughs> so last night, yeah, last night we didn't play it. Um, we pushed it back to tonight because we got got through like the the other deck pretty later, pretty late last night. Um, So yeah, Best didn't didn't play it last night. Fast. Um, You're on your own. We're gonna try it tonight. All right, our opponent found a burn spell, so we unfortunately had to contempt our own Angrath. One more burn spell kills us. Maybe no burn spells out of all those? So yeah, you haven't missed it yet. Um, it kind of looks like no burn spells out of all those. Cool. know what we can really find at this point. Hey, James. Thanks for being a legend. Also, happy Friday. Aw, thanks, James. Thanks for that donation. Cheers. Yeah, we need, we need our, our one last contempt, basically. Now, we already drew our Craving. I only have two Contempts and one Craving in the main deck. We've already, we already drew the, the Craving and the Contempt. So we are just kind of really dead. 
We could Kaya's Wrath and gain a life by killing our Bolas. You only gain one life. You only you gain a life equal to the number of creatures you, you destroyed. So we'd gain one life. We'd control one creature we destroyed. Okay. So now here comes Lyra. Negates. Another moment of craving. The bell haunts. Um, the deafening clarions. So we have a lot of sideboard. If Kai's Wrath was gained four, I would have played it the previous turn. I would have attacked with with um, Nicol Bolas and cast it. Gaining one life doesn't didn't do a whole lot for us. All right, campaigns coming out. Um, don't really need all these Kai's Wraths. I probably want to just play. Like, do I want to play like Thief of Sandies? Also, I want to just take out like. Maybe we just take out Teferi. Yeah, and I don't really love Discoveries, but the thing about Discoveries is it can help us hit our colors, which is like really the thing. But I don't really want to spend early turns using Discovery. I'm going to take out an Ascanta. Angrath, though, can... Like, the thing is, is we, we struggle with ending the game. And Angrath is like a card that, that does end the game uh, relatively quickly. And that's something that can be a struggle for us. So I like this. I think the next the next question is playing Thief of Sanity over some number of Mortify slash Discovery. No, the the wrath isn't isn't great. Kai's wrath, it's not great. Um, maybe that's another card to kind of move move away from. So this is what I'm talking about with discovery. We sometimes need to use discovery to hit our colors. But you know we have moment of craving and basilica bell haunt. So I'm not not really. Uh, ship in the hand even though we're a little ways away from this bell haunt to kind of put it mildly yeah we're missing some rats from maximum discard they only have so many cards in their hand though all right white source So I can. Uh, I hope they have Steamkin. I want a moment of craving a Steamkin. No Steamkin. So do I hold up moment or do I cast another discovery? I think I may just moment this Firebrand. Yeah, I'm going to moment the Firebrand. So one thing I was a little worried about uh, with I thought it was possible maybe they just had like skewer the critics light up the stage stuff like that that like they get in the damage with firebrand all right now contempt or bell haunt I'm gonna actually just contempt here because if I play bell haunt they can like attack in for three with first strike and then it's like an awkward block Let's just contempt this thing Bellhaunt's still going to be good next turn. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and play the Bellhaunt here, though. Even though Contempt and Mortify are pretty good against Steamkin. 
Um, because they only have two cards in hand, and we got definitely want to play Bell Hunt before they're empty handed. So we want to get that value while we can. Yeah, made him discard a Wizard's Lightning. It's not so bad. Hey, what's up, Matthew? Happy Friday. Okay, so they're they're down to one card. And we're at 18. And we have a 3-4. Hopefully we can get there. Uh-oh. That's a pretty good one card to have. But good thing we got the Mortify. I wanted to, I didn't want to Mortify the um, Steamkin either. I wanted to save Mortify because of like Experimental Frenzy and you know there's Flame McKeld. Yep, this is Tash. Well, Clarion's good. I don't think we need another Mortify. Let's put that over there. I like Clarion here. We'll just go ahead and kill stuff. Give our creature lifelink. And I like doing that right away. So even though our opponent could draw another creature um, to make Clarion better... They could also draw like a shock that they just hold on to, and then if I clarry on later and they have like that shock in their hand. Then they get to kill the bell haunt, and I don't want that to happen. Um, Thought Erasure. I could have cast the Thought Erasure before and just scryed one, right? Um, but I could certainly see my opponent wanting to, you know, like, they draw a burn spell, they want to hold it, draw another burn spell, and kill the spell haunt. So now they drew that first burn spell, I'll Thought Erasure them, force them to chunk that burn spell at me, and then they don't get to have the card that kills the bell haunt. And honestly, I maybe should have just discoveried first, though, with the exploring. Going to be a floor judge tomorrow in 100 people modern open. So I'm going to have a 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. shift. That's a lot of... That's a, a long shift, a lot of work. Yeah, it is tiresome. Um, hope you enjoy it, though. All right, so basically everything went, went right for us that whole game. And as you can tell, I mean, we ended at, like, 20 life or whatever. Um, it's going to be tough to win the game three on the draw, though. So I'm glad we kept in all the Mortifies. They're a Flame of Kel deck. So basically, do I want Thief of Sanity over Kaya's Wrath? Kaya's Wrath on the draw in particular. You know, like, on the play, I think it's okay. On the draw, it's a lot tougher. You know, on on our turn four on the on the play or on the draw, it's kind of tough to have it. Maybe we play Thief of Sanity. Thief isn't really that good in this matchup, but at least just kind of eats up a burn spell. I don't know. Maybe I actually do play some Kaiser Aths. Yeah, you know, like they they certainly have those games like where they have Chain Whirler, Runaway Steamkin. You know, like those kind of things that you want to kill our creatures. I'm going to play the Kaiserath. <laughs> yeah, eating up a shock is, is not the best burn spells to, to be eaten up. This is a little rough. 
Okay. A little less rough. Um, so we're going to have to shock on turn two. And I'm going to Thought Erasure on turn two. And then turn three Clarion. I guess if we're going to shock, might as well shock with the white source. So I'm not going as Kanta. I think the, the Thought Erasure loses a lot of value. Um later and I'll save mortify because of us seeing their enchantments and mortify can kill a haste creature I guess I'm using Mortify here. I don't think it's worth shocking. Uh, I really hope they don't draw. Really hope they don't draw uh, Flame Akeld. I'll be sad. Okay. That's a good card for me. Ooh. Vishina Pyromancer and Wizard's Lightning. That's a little annoying. Hmm. All right, Nickel Balls, we need you to end this game quickly. All right, Yud. Have a wonderful night. And you yeah, have a good shift tomorrow and everything. And I'll see you back on here shortly. See you back on, like, Sunday. Okay. So, two options. I have Nickel Bolas, like make them discard this card, have a new Bolas that can block and everything like that. Or I Kaya's Wrath and go up to four life. I'm not making them discard a card, though. You know, either way, I'm playing Search for Escanta also. Um, so, Kaya's Wrath, like, puts me up to four, so a burn spell doesn't necessarily kill me. But they do get to keep this card in hand. Um, yeah, I guess I just have to do this. Really wanted to make them discard that card. Because I figured that card's not a land, considering they didn't play it last turn. Tough. It's just pretty tough. It's a tough matchup for us to win. You know, being the four color greedy deck. We really need Bell Hunt or Lyra. Didn't have Bell Hunt or Lyra that game. Yeah, they had that. Um, you know, like we were we were doing good. Like when their last card was 
runaway steamkin you know like we were looking pretty good there but then they drew into um the divination you know they drew into yeah then their their next card they drew was light up the stage and light up the stage found you know uh pyromancer plus wizard's lightning and then their next two draws were another pyromancer and a lightning strike and that was just too much for us as you can tell well, let's get those lands out of here It's just a they just have absorb available. They shocked in like that. So I don't think I need to just throw a, a thought erasure into the into the absorb. I can kind of wait until I can double spell. Yeah, I like I like mono red. Yeah, you know, we we lost to it and everything, but I don't hate the deck or anything like that. Double counter. Just don't want them to have Teferi. Good, no Teferi. Alright, out of counters. <laughs> Please run. I've weathered tougher storms than you. No fire, no steel. Fire, no steel. I don't know if I actually want to cast this discovery. I kind of want to save it for dispersal. All right, never mind. I'm off that. Let's play it. At least our two discoveries have gotten rid of a bunch of bad cards. Mortify could potentially be a good card if they have Search for Escanta. Still, I found Teferi. Right on I have Teferis. Where are my Teferis? I'm not ready for this quite yet. No, you're just fuel for the fires of freedom, Kerr. All them lands. Keep up the pace. I'm pretty sure we're a 26 land deck, right? That sounds like the amount of lands that we have in here. No fire, no steel. Yeah, 26 land deck. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, so we're exactly no halfway through our lands um, so far. Our best draws are like Search for Escanta, uh, Disinformation Campaign, Nicol Bolas, Teferi. Hey, King Toll, doing, doing good. No fire. All right, there's no a campaign. Steel. <laughs> you need a splash green for Krasis. <laughs> Why not? The kind of good news is 
Our opponent's not making more land drops. They're like holding, you know, if they had lands in hand, they're holding the lands in hand. Um, you know, having a man advantage over the opponent is certainly good. Of course, the, the Angrath is close to ultimating um, and killing the opponent. Uh, so they have another Teferi? They have the third one? Man, they because they didn't they didn't have Teferi's earlier, so they must have just drawn Teferi, Teferi, Teferi. Recently. That's a bummer. Ooh. Card. Hmm, this don't want to tuck theirs. Or draw. Tucker draw. I'll tuck. Not so fast. We still get Angrath next turn. Because if I don't tuck, then they then they tuck. What? That's their fourth one. I am not going also, to how do they have four of this kind of Teferi anyway? Reverse. I thought you could only have one of these these kind of Teferis. Isn't that a thing? Oh, you could craft them with wild cards at one point? Oh. Yeah, no fire. No I didn't think you could craft those ones with wild cards. Hurry! Yeah, fill your hand back up so I can empty it with Angrath. I mean, I think you should just be able to, to craft these. Like, maybe make them cost, like, two Mythic WoW cards. No fire, no steel. All right, so I certainly think our opponent has a counter spell. Um, I don't think I need to play this Teferi right now. I think we can wait. We don't need to get our Teferi countered. Just kind of keep on Angrathin'. I guess they just got a Oh, they don't have a counter spell. Wow. Screw me. Let's skip to the good part. Well, I mean that's just for, for people that want to waste their wild cards to have like the the whatever edition. You know, like whatever edition this is. You know, like I would think that they would like, you know, they could just add in stuff like that to the to the game, you know, like visual stuff if you want to spend Spend more wild cards, spend more money on the game. All right, we're putting them down to four. They're almost dead. No fire, no steel. Now, is that one the counter spell? Are they just okay. Not a counter. I know Good. my responsibility. Now, I think I want to tuck as Kanta. Kanta is like the card I'm more worried about than their Teferis. What? What is that thing? Okay, never mind. That thing's mean. That kills my Angrath. Still. Damn your eyes. Ram a new course free. Yeah, I mean it dies to Kaya's Wrath, but they have Teferi they have two Teferis plus a search for his Kanta coming here. Um, so they are very far out. ahead. Um Good news is we've gotten rid of three Teferis. Sorry. You know what? As per usual only plays like four Teferis and one Chromium as far as cards that can win the game.
So if that card's not a counter spell. Only time will tell. They may not have another card that can win the game in their deck. Like that might be it. Four Teferi's, one Chromium. I think that's usually it for Esper decks. They can't loop. There's nothing to loop if all their Teferi's are gone. Like, they, they may play, like, a Devious Cover-Up or something like that. Absolutely. They may play something else. So I'm not saying that this is, you know, for sure all they have, but a lot of Esper players, this is all they have. That's what I'm saying. If you show remorse, we need to move quickly. They're down to 20 cards in library. We're at 28. So it'd be kind of a steal to win this this matchup game one. So we have a whole lot on our sideboard for this matchup. Our, our sideboard's basically for control and for mono red. Basically all of our cards are either against control or mono red in our sideboard. Oh, they might have the enchantment that makes one ones. Uh, Dawn of Hope. No time for a break. I suppose it's possible. Not too likely. I've seen like seen some Esper people start to play Kaya the Super. Like one copy of Kaya. It's only a matter of time. I think our, our, basically the way that we can win this right by now, because Ascanta is just pretty messed up, so I think the only way we win this is our opponent not actually having more win conditions. They have 13 cards in library. They get to, they've gone through all of their cards. Um, just gotta hope they don't have any more win conditions. That is true. Like, if our opponent does know that they're out of win conditions, I don't really know why they they would continue playing. Um, so, therefore, how our opponent hasn't stopped playing, it kind of makes it seem like they probably, that they have another win condition then. Either that or they just want to Thought Erasure some more to see more cards out of my weird four-color deck. There they go. All right, so we'll bring in Stroke, Negate, Thief. This game's getting a little laggy. I'm going to restart here during this match. I'm going to take out Cast Down, Moment of Craving, the four Kai's Rats. Um. 61. I have like one too many cards. I guess one of the Mortifies. 
Like they're probably going to be on Thief of Sanity plan themselves. I have, I have answers to it. Oh, keep in one Kaya's Wrath because of Chromium? It's just pretty unlikely that our, we'll have our one Kaya's Wrath whenever they have Chromium, right? Just like, I, I just don't want the Kaya's Wrath basically ever in my hand until like the very late game whenever they finally found their Chromium and they have all the mana and they cast it and all that kind of stuff. And then by that time that we would have our one our one Kaiser at still in our hand and it doesn't get discarded from like their duresses or thought erasures or anything. That just seems very unlikely. We have other things that can deal with Chromium, like Transform Nicol Bolas or whatever. We can thought erasure it from their hand, make them discard it. Hey, After Wizard, doing good. Doing good. Um, if we had blue mana, I'd like this hand. We don't. Ugh, same. I'm gonna keep this one though. There's a blue man in this deck somewhere, I think. Good thing the joke's on the opponent. We can't can't cast any of our spells anyway. They're sitting here with all these discard spells. We can't even do anything anyway. They better not have Thief of Sanity immediately now also. Okay, good. Well, that's still not good. Okay, can we find Mortify and kill this Escanta? Unfortunately, because we didn't have blue mana, I had to put like one of my Escantas down to the bottom, down to the uh, to the graveyard, or sorry, the bottom of my library, because um, Escanta is so strong. All right, they have four cards right now. Not gonna let them surveil with that thought erasure. Yeah, that was, I mean, that's, you saw the problem of playing four colors there. Yeah, Mortify would be a great draw step. they'd be casting that insight. All right, so they have four new cards. Did I play a land that turn? I guess I probably did. Ugh. Another Hescanta. No, you cannot steal a land. Not so sure about these disdainful strokes, just kind of in general. 
So we saw like that game. There wasn't a single card that we need to ever disdainful stroke. It's just all about you know cheap interaction with duresses, negates, thought thought erasures, deep insanity, search for Escanta. Like those are all like the important cards. So I'm not sold of having. Maybe I just shouldn't have these disdainful stroke disdainful strokes in the sideboard at all. Uh, yeah, so, um, it wasn't just from not streaming the few days, but just since, uh, since my birthday, so almost two weeks now, I guess, like, since, in the last, like, ten days. Um, a lot of gift, gifted subs expiring from the previous month. Yeah, a lot of it is, like, gifted subs expiring. Thanks, After Wizard. Um, should I mulligan again? I mean, if, bleh, how many blue sources we got in here? Like 17? 16? Oh, I do not have that many blue sources. Oh, 17. No. 13? Because I only need one, so I only have like 13. That's kind of rough. Alright, so we only need the one blue, so the four color deck, I only have like 13 blue sources. Even though I definitely want the blue early. Alright, we got there. We got the, to the ask Kanta on turn three. You know, it's definitely debating whether to play as Kanta or Campaign. Um, if I had another blue source and I knew I was going to be able to have as Kanta plus negate the next turn, maybe it's better to Campaign, but you know, it's not, not super likely that I'll have um, as Kanta plus negate the next turn. Hey, track team, life is going quite well. Yep. I think now the time is just to kind of see how many counter spells they have. You know, presumably this gets countered. Um, and then, you know, we'll see if, like, Angrath gets countered, and then Teferi, if that gets countered. You know, we'll just kind of pressure their counter spells here. See if they run out at any point. I would love for them to play like a Thief of Sanity here with no protection. And then we and we hit a land drop and we Angrath steal the Thief of Sanity. Alright, they're at four cards. I'm at five. I'm at six. So one more and we flip as Kanta. Oh, looks like we'll wait a little bit to flip as Kanta. It's just an awkward timing there. I don't have Negate up for Teferi now. Ugh. And they get to destroy my Kanta. Really awkward timing. Well, they have four cards and we have one. So it doesn't look good for us. Trying to deck with four Niv, four Sphinx of 
four sides, four electromancers, and nine land destruction spells. Um, what about haphazard bombardment? I like haphazard bombardment quite a bit. That could be a good addition. No. Stop. Right. You know what? I'm not done yet. Last card's another counter spell. Our opponents had really good hands here at these games two and three. Hmm. This is hardly my worst defeat. Tough to win from here. They get to you know look at the top three cards of our library and take the best one, and then we just gotta hope that the fourth card is better than that. It's better than Thought Erasure and Campaign. Mining Gate. Ugh. Yeah. All right, so one and two, unfortunately, with four color discard. We got out controlled. Um, I think a big part of that, you know, like they had they had a lot of counter spells and everything. Um, I think with our sideboard, I think Disdainful Stroke was horrendous. And I want to get that out of here. I think I would um, rather have. Yeah, I'd rather just have duresses there. Disdainful Stroke was just not even playable. Like I didn't even didn't even want it there in that match. Um, yeah, that's just not like I want the I need that like that sideboard slot is for that matchup. And if Disdainful Stroke, Disdainful Stroke was just such a bad card, um, not something I wanted whatsoever. So yeah, let's get the duresses in there. I think that would that would have helped a lot more. Um, but yeah, we got. We got kind of stuck on blue mana there, games two and three, um, and our opponent's hands were just awesome. You know, like that that kind of that'll do it. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily think that's a bad matchup or anything. It's just you know variance happens. Um, our opponents had a lot more searcher's cantas than us, and more interaction, especially that third game. If I was able to play as Kanta on turn two and then disinformation campaign on turn three, I think you know we would have been in a lot better spot than. You know, playing the discovery on two, and then Escant on three, and then campaign on four. Um, that was kind of kind of rough how we had to use the discovery to find the blue mana, and we were a little bit behind, and it helped our opponent's counter spells out. Um, but yeah, just putting in putting in duress instead of um, duress instead of. Uh, uh, disinform or sorry, instead of disdainful stroke should help out quite a quite a bit there epidic with the sub there big support from italy hey thank you so much welcome to the channel all right so that's our four color discard deck um 
Yeah, we ran into Mono Red, which you don't see a lot of Mono Red around these days. But, you know, Mono Red's a tough matchup for us. And we played some close games, uh, but, you know, didn't quite get there. And then we lost a, a close one to Esper Control as well, um, where they had a whole lot more cheap spells than we did. So, um, I think that's... I, I mean, I still like where the deck's at. You know, we just had... Uh, couple of rough matches there, but I think putting in Duress instead of Disdainful Stroke would help that Esper match up a whole lot more. Um, yeah, so that's that's one card that I've recently cut from the deck. I, I used to have Duress and Negate and Disdainful Stroke, but I actually cut the Duresses recently for Clarions to help out the aggro matchups more, and I think I cut the wrong card. I don't think I should have cut Duress. I should have cut Disdainful Stroke, so cut the wrong card there. So there we go. All right, so uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, of course, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.